Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, hail, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, Joseph, God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. Good Saint Joseph, to us too, be a father, guide, and guardian. On the 13th of October, 1917, at Fatima, on the final day of the apparitions there, Sister Lucia, one of the visionaries, recounts how in the sky, while the crowd there were witnessing the miracle of the sun, the three children saw several other visions, one of which was of St. Joseph, and in his arm he carried the child Jesus. Both Jesus and Joseph raised their hand and made the sign of the cross as if to bless the world. And this, I think, is significant for many reasons, but one I want to focus on in particular. Joseph holds in his arms the Son of God. He holds him as any father might hold their little child, because the extraordinary child Jesus, who is fully God and fully man, lived under the, the ordinary circumstances of family life, a family whose head was St. Joseph. St. Joseph was placed by God as head of that holy family. Joseph had a high calling indeed to be the father in the holy household of Nazareth, to exercise authority over the two greatest persons to ever grace this world, Jesus and Mary. And he lives out that gift, that vocation to fatherhood, to be a husband, faithfully and fully. None of us will ever have to be a spouse or parent to people as great and wondrous as the incarnate word, Jesus Christ, and his mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary. But nevertheless, should the Lord have seen fit to give that call to be a spouse or to be a parent to us, we are called to live out that vocation just as faithfully and fully, remembering that God's call does not lead us where God's grace is unwilling to go before us. Pope Francis has designated this year to be a special year dedicated to St. Joseph. Last December, he issued uh, an apostolic letter on St. Joseph called Patris Corde, in English, with a father's heart, pointing out that it is precisely with a father's heart that Joseph loved and served Jesus. And it would be well worthwhile going online to find that letter from Pope Francis and perhaps read it uh, in this holy year set aside uh, to focus on the person of Saint Joseph. And it's not very long, it's very easily read, but it is rich and deep in, in many teachings about Saint Joseph and about our living out the Christian life. In that teaching, Pope Francis makes the following point. He says, The Son of the Almighty came into our world in a state of great vulnerability. He needed to be defended, protected, cared for, and raised by Joseph. God trusted Joseph, as did Mary, who found in him someone who would not only save her life, but would always provide for her child and for her. St. Joseph had an immense task and privilege to love and serve the Holy Family, and that service included saving the infant child from the murderous intentions of King Herod. In a certain sense, we can say about St. Joseph what we can not say about any other saint. St. Joseph saved the Saviour from an imminent peril to his life. For this reason, the Church has long invoked St. Joseph under one of his many titles, Guardian 
of the Redeemer. In response to God's call, Joseph receives the entire church as it then was, Mary and the child Jesus, under his roof and under his guardianship. And they would remain under him as guardian for the rest of his life. What an outstanding man and what outstanding qualities must Joseph have had to be worthy of such a mission from on high. When God chooses someone for a special mission in the church, he always prepares that person with many graces and the necessary gifts to fulfill that task. And we should not doubt the great holiness that would have been needed to be the guardian of the Redeemer and the husband of the Mother of God. To be the guardian of the Son of God, to be the provider for the Holy Family of Nazareth, to be the protector who saved the child Jesus. This was Joseph's high calling. To guard, to provide and nurture, to protect, requires a willingness to give of ourselves, to sacrifice of ourselves. It often requires that we step up courageously to the plate and in this we have an exceptional role model in St. Joseph. Can you imagine what kind of world we would be living in right now if husbands and fathers took their inspiration from St. Joseph? That image of the Fatima apparition, St. Joseph with the child Jesus in his arm, is one that occurs over and over in religious art and iconography which depicts St. Joseph. I like to think that St. Joseph sees in each of us a kind of spiritual twin of Jesus. For by baptism, we are children of God the Father and children of Mary. We are brothers and sisters of the Lord Jesus Christ. And while the child Jesus is supported by one of St. Joseph's arms in those images, the other arm is spiritually available for each of us. And as Joseph exercises a role of guardianship over the Redeemer, can we doubt that by extension he is also guardian of all of us, the redeemed? Of the images of Mary and Joseph, the ones that I personally prefer are the images where one or other of them hold the child Jesus in their arm. When I approach St. Joseph in prayer, I like to imagine him holding the child Jesus in that one arm and offering to me a place in the other arm. In the strong fatherly arm of St. Joseph, wouldn't that be a great place to be spiritually? Just to finish up, I would like to share with you a prayer that I wrote a year or so ago. One which I like to pray to St. Joseph because it, in a certain sense, it, it resonates with me how I approach St. Joseph as a father figure for me. And I know how powerful he is as an intercessor before the throne of Jesus in heaven. I invite you to pray this prayer quietly in your heart with me now. Good Saint Joseph, so highly favoured by the Heavenly Father, called to be the husband of the Blessed Virgin Mary and a father to his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Daily your strong arm was to be the throne upon which the Son of God seated himself and laid his divine head upon your chest filling your most chaste heart with immense delight in the Holy Spirit. But I see, St. Joseph, that you have two arms, and so I ask you to take me up into your strong fatherly arm, for I too am a child of God. Lift me up that I might feel your secure fatherly embrace. Protect me as you protected the child Jesus. Allow me to experience the watchful care of your fatherly heart. Look upon me as you looked upon the child Jesus in your arms. Shield me from the attacks of the evil one and obtain for me the grace 
to remain ever close to the hearts of Jesus and Mary. Good Father St. Joseph, please pray for me and obtain from me the special graces I need in my life, which through your powerful intercession I now place before God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. St. Joseph, loving foster father to our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, guardian of the Redeemer and most chaste spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.